Oh, hey guys. Sorry, my microphone's not plugged in. Uh, I just wanted to show you some documents I found. Uh, Sigma Aldrich is listed on the Gitmo documents that I found the other day. So I found this adrenochrome. So they're selling adrenochrome. Um, I, I mean, I think we knew that, right? Um, but the detainees, uh, when I looked up the detainees, they were transferred to the authority of the Afghan government. So all of the Americans or other people they're deeming dangerous are now transferred so that they can't get a hearing. Um, Report of Investigation, Narcotics Control, USCG, Paul Clark Command. When I looked at Paul Clark Command, that went to RAND um, over in Santa Monica, but it also went to the British... Uh, the British intelligence agent. So I just want to, uh, agencies. So I just want to show you this larceny, uh, government. So it's a Navy exchange service command, Naval station, Guantanamo Bay, theft of government property operation. It's an operation group two command, sexual assault, narcotics. But I looked up all these different commands to prove that these people are not in, um, they are not in, um, they're not at Cuba. They're, they're not in Cuba. So, you know, despite trying repeatedly to get my documents, like, like here it shows, uh, Laughlin Air Force Base Command, right? So it says Gitmo, but it's under the command of Texas, right? From AFOSI detachment, sexual assault, right? Narcotics, um, Valiant Command. So you, you, I, I went through this, I looked up each of the commands, and I'm telling you that these sexual assaults, they are sexually assault death. There's death, and they, it all says control. Their control. I believe they're control studies uh, for torture. I mean, that's what I believe, but um, they're, they're, all of this is indecent uh, sexual assault. It shows them report of 17-year-old dependent male engaged in sexual activity with 12-year-old. Okay, uh, how can that be happening at Gitmo? Right? Well, I've told you what I think. They're detaining people for the worth of their genetics. And the reason I feel like this is because when the Afghan war ended, I wrote to, um, to President Biden and I said, I'm being detained in America. I, they won't give me my records. Well, they're never going to give me my records. So I, I'm just now, I think what they've done in Afghanistan is they put it under the Afghanistan government. And right after I filed my habeas corpus case, they closed the war and transferred all of the detainees in Afghanistan to the um, Afghanistan government who, but, but I'm not in Afghanistan. I'm in America on American soil in Los Angeles, but they're doing this so that they don't have to give, um, anybody in Afghanistan that they've transferred to Afghanistan, which is under jurisdiction of the CIA, any trials because they're not being held for, they're not being held for what they're saying they're being held for. Um, so let me show you this document. Um, this is um, something interesting too. MNS, I started to think that is MK Ultra a blood type or like a genotype? Like you have something in your genetic code that is worth a lot to science. You know, besides the RH null, are there other blood types? And I kept looking up MK and there was a bunch of stuff that came up. So in all of my documents, it said, uh, Marcella Kreisinger, which is a code for MK. Okay. And I know that I have 
some rare blood, but I don't know if I have any of these. M, K, right? M, K. Who knows if I do? So here we go. I'm going to show you this document. Um, so this is Afghanistan transfer of control over Bagram prison. Neither the ICRC nor the author. Okay, ICRC again is International Committee of the Red Cross, a blood bank, a blood bank. The people that are being held as slaves are held that way because of the worth of their blood. Now, this is a, a violent departure from what I believed America to be, but this is what they're doing. Okay. So after months of delays, and I don't know when this was, so just because they closed the war, they've transferred 4,000 detainees. Uh, let's see. Source, rich deal on Bagram prison transfer. Oh, this is in March of 2013. So, oh God, because I saw this and I was like, oh no. Um, so, so when people were bringing cases here, okay, I've brought plenty of cases here. Um, they, they took the, all of the people in that prison and put them under Afghan so that nobody could bring a case so that they could torture them on American soil, not knowing they were under, um, the authority of, of the Afghanistan government. So George Little, the Pentagon spokesman said the agreement was reached, um, after an intensified round of discussions. Okay. What they do is they say the transfer will, will be carried out in a way that ensures the safety of the Afghan people keeping dangerous individuals. They're saying that individuals are dangerous in a secure and humane manner in accordance with Afghan law. So you're not even in American law, but you're still under military control. Okay. But that was in 2013, right before I was injured the first time on American soil. Um, let's see. Transfer. What are the obligations when the war is over? Is the Afghan government allowed to continue detaining deemed enduring threats, even if they cannot pre be prosecuted? Um, I don't know. But I know that um, the International Committee on the Red Cross knows why they're being detained. Why are all the people detained under authority of the Red Cross? Uh, so this is in 2013. I mean, they just make up stuff, you guys. I don't know. Says he was released last year. It's not Taliban. I mean, it's people like me. People like me and the government wants our resources and they want to deprive us of our own resources, which is a hate crime and persecution of race, uh, religion, and gender. Um, much like the Handmaid's Tale, right? So I keep trying to find out why he's not releasing any prisoners. Uh, and they keep showing people like this, right? When they should be showing. What is this? Is that an Apple Watch? It's weird. Is that an Apple Watch? It's got, a, it's got an owl on it, right? So that owl is their symbol for a lot of different things. You've got to look at the symbols. Who makes the scarf? <laughs> uh, you know, those wreaths that are around 
you know, the New World Order stuff, all of those, World Economic, whatever they are. Um, so I found a different one on Rare Blood. I wanted to show you. Oh, I was watching um, Joseph Biden. So if you're in administrative detainment, you might still be under the president. Um, all of the documents I found when I looked myself up, it said I was in detention. It also said I was a hostage. It said a lot of different things. So I do believe I'm detained. Um, but hang on. Okay, so I'm... Um, Um, I'm on a CIA document that talks about insects claiming they're placing the insects in the box with the detainee. Um, this is, I just don't think this is how it, it goes. They're claiming that these people are terrorists so they can do anything they want to them. Um... I mean, it's just, it's discrimination. Um, but the other thing I found was that they were using white noise to torture the people. Um, the agency eliminated one proposed technique after learning from DOJ that this could delay the legal review. Um, they concluded there were no long term psychological effects, but I did find this one where they talked about using um, white noise to harm the people and then putting bugs, you know, in with them. Uh, let's see. Um, so Abu Zubaida A through Z A through Z okay was the first high value detainee and then what they do I mean they just changed the names you guys know my name is not going to be in here it's going to be a bunch of other things but I just want to show you this um this white noise thing yeah. so you would like to place Zubaida in a cramped confinement box with an insect. You have informed us he appears to have a fear of insects. In particular, in particular, you would like to tell Zubaida that you intend to place a stinging insect into the box with him. You would, however, place a harmless insect in the box. You have orally informed, I mean, they're claiming a lot of things uh, I, I mean, they're, they're torturing people and they're trying to find out what scares you and what tortures you as a hate crime against your race and in violation of the laws. Okay. That should protect us from this. So deprivation of reading material, isolation where none of your friends talk to you anymore, sleep deprivation not to exceed 72 hours, a lot of people couldn't sleep at all, reduced caloric intake, uh, use of loud music or white noise at decibel level calculated to avoid damage to the detainee's earring, uh, hearing, but when you read about what it does, it causes long-term brain damage, it can cause dementia confusion. It can cause a lot of things. So CIA operates with the DOJ doing this um, on ICE detainees. So I, I'm just telling you this is what they're doing. And that is why 
everyone coming into the country gets tested for biometrics, for blood type, and the worth of their genes.